are listening to Gorgas, you idiot. Mason Smith. What's up, dude? What is up, brother? I like the. Did you make that? I had a guy, buddy of mine, Cameron Loesch, from this band called Born of Osiris. He made that for me. Uh, dude. You I, know who they are? Uh-huh. I've heard of them. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know, like, they, they like, they like toured with, like, big bands, right? Oh, yeah. They are a big band. Yeah. And okay. we toured with them. Sick. And they what was your us. band called? Bystander is what the band's Bystander, called. Bystander. Sick. Yeah. And y'all, were y'all Austin? Uh, no. So, I live here now. But okay. we're from Portland, so the rest of the band is still in Portland, Oregon. Okay, so you're just not in the band anymore. No, I am. The band is not slowing down at all. Oh, sick. Yeah, we just went on our biggest tour ever. Born of Osiris took us on That's tour. awesome. And so the, now we're, we got five songs that are sending, I think they're getting sent to the mic to be mixed and mastered today. Okay. And then we're going to start releasing songs. We have uh, a new manager guy, shout out Cameron Norris. Uh, with the Dreamer Agency, he's managing us, uh, helping us kind of like figure out the way to like release stuff right on Spotify. Because it's, it's like, and that's the thing. It's like, dude, a lot of this stuff has just tired me out of like creating and doing fun shit. And mm-hmm. so I'm trying to get as far away from like businessy shit as I can, especially with music. You know what I mean? Because it's yeah. just like I, for the longest time, like I've been the guy doing the like promoting and the like this is how we're going to release it and it's like and what i'm doing doesn't necessarily work yeah it's just like i don't you know we, so our you plays on spotify kind of the manager of your own band too. kind of yeah that because it was like just co- it's just it's takes away it's a fun suck right it makes yeah because you just want to you want to do the yeah. live shows and be in the band i want to have fun i think that's I wanna, why you get agents and shit that is, that is why but it's kind of like a chicken and egg thing like you have to grow to a certain point where they even want to fuck with you you know um Which, that's like in comedy too yeah by the way, I don't want to forget it. It's B- bystander. bystander, just B Y S T A N D E R. Can you turn his mic up a little bit, just on the board, if it or is it cranked all the way? And born of Osiris. I think that's better. Um, Sick. But uh, yeah, Mason, very funny guy. High noon podcast with with our boy Nick Sapaglia. Yeah. I fucking love that you're here, dude. Yeah, you're man, always on my phone, and I'm me, like, dude. I gotta fucking talk to this guy, dude. Yeah, I'm excited. Like, I, I was just saying, like, I see your clips all the time, too, and and a lot of my friends are on, and I'm like, dude, that must be a fun pod if hell all yeah. these guys are doing it. Well, we're, we're gonna find out, right? Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Um, oh, he's got the fucking Miller Lights, dude. Sponsor me. Sponsor Miller me, please. Light. He drinks so much of it. Oh, yeah, no, for real, <laughs> like, please. It would be... I, I, Tony, so, you want one? I, I pitched it uh, as... So what I told on on high noon, I but we got the this is coming out, but or I think it's a clip actually, but I would get a photorealistic tattoo of Miller Lite like on my arm, a can, full can, right there. A boom. tall boy, a tallie. Either way, whatever. It would have to be a tall boy. De- completely detailed. I will get that on my arm for a lifetime membership sponsorship of Miller yeah. Lite. You might not even have to do that, but well, I would. <laughs> so I have a buddy um, here who does barbecue videos, okay. and he and he's like, uh, he's I'm not gonna th- put, put throw him on blast. I don't know if he wants to talk about this, but he's sponsored by Miller Lite, and he has a Sick. he has he's a U- he's bastard. a YouTuber that makes barbecue videos, right? Yeah, and he's sponsored by Miller Lite, and he has a uh, they gave him a fridge, and they come by and just fill it up. That's the dream, and it's and it's, and it's completely full. And he's like, yeah, it's weird. They just said like. They gave us the loosest parameters on the sponsorship. He's like, I don't have to mention them in any videos. They're just like, can you maybe sometimes once in a while drink a Miller Light in your oh. video? That's that's so you that's might not amazing. even need to get the tattoo. I mean, uh, it would be funny. I think it'd be. Pretty I think you good. should I think, get the, the tattoo. Bed, I think it'd be yeah, good. <laughs> And just be like, you know, like I got this tattoo because uh, Miller Lite sponsored me, and it's like they're no longer a sponsor, <laughs> but, and, and I still be, have the tattoo. Well, to be honest, I'd still drink Miller Lite. I would still just drink Miller Lite. Why do people pick a beer? I've never been a pick a beer guy or pick a drink guy, and I think that that honestly leads to issues for me at the bar when I'm like, if you pick a beer, well, like no, no, because I don't have a go to right. So I'm always up there, and I'm like, um. So you look. You you don't, don't you don't walk up and go. I no, already know I'm what so I'm doing. I'm so indecisive get. about it. So dude, so here's how I do it when I'm in, out in public. <clears throat> nice. Yeah. Excuse me. No, no, give it to and us, dude. So uh, when, if I'm at uh, so anywhere downtown, I always know. I already know. I've been here for two years. I know the deal. I go. Is there? Do you have tall cans of Lone Star? If they do, I'm going Lone Star Tall Boy. Mm-hmm. If they say they're all shorts, Miller Lite. 
Because, Why? Because Why do you have that rule? Because if you're getting the Lone Star, I'll sacrifice the the beer for a taller one, because it's more more bang for your buck. Okay. But if it's still just a 12 ounce or a 12 ounce, I'm going what I want. This is some real alcoholic mental gymnastics. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what is kind that, of fucking. Is that weird? I don't know. I don't. I'm not understanding. I guess. So okay. I'm not good with math. Wouldn't you? Would if there's a, a a tall 16 ounce Lone Star right here and a 12 ounce Miller Lite, but you're at a bar and they both cost five dollars, I'm going Tall Boy. Oh, right. And I'll sacrifice not getting a Miller Lite. I see. But if they're both 12s. And they're both five bucks. I see. I'm gonna okay. go ahead and get what I want. But why do you? They're the same. It's the same piss water beer. Do you think if I blindfolded Miller, you, I could tell the difference? No yes, way. I yeah, I no, you can't. I swear. That's I swear. Such I can also tell the difference between a Miller Light and a, and a Bud Light. Really? And Bud Light makes me think about trannies. <laughs> Bro, you could definitely taste the Lone Star. <laughs> you think? Yeah, yeah, you can tell a difference. I know it. that Pabst Blue, because that's that's our Lone Star, right, in Portland, where I'm PBR, from. PBR, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's PBR, Same thing right? As Boston. And PBR. I don't like PBR. Tastes like banana bread to me. Like See, it's got this banana thing that I can't, I can't. I thought about it one time, and I can't un. un See, taste I have it. the same thing with. I was making. I was just kidding about the Bud Light thing, obviously, but Bud Light to me tastes like milk. I think Bud Light <laughs> has a weird milky flavor. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna have to try it. Dude. I don't like it. The milk, the but, milk of beers. But you're from you're you're. Are you from Oregon? I'm from what, Portland. What, Port yeah. So I bet you like like fucking craft beers. You like? Miller I don't Lights. like. I, mean, I actually Lights, don't. IPAs. I don't really like beer at all anymore because okay. I grew up there. I think because it's like we started like you know most of the time you start drinking beer when you're young you got a little hair sticking up you should reset reset it's bugging me and it's you're it's gonna bug you when you watch this and you're like he didn't tell me I had an alfalfa sprout going. Um, I washed my hair today. It looks fucking majestic, by the way. You look great. Thanks, man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> How's that? It's perfect. Good? Yeah. Uh, yeah, like, so we grew up drinking, like, I would use my fake ID at the corner store by my house to get, like, a, a double a double IPA. You know what I mean? Six pack. Like, we weren't drinking shit beer like normal kids. That, like, yeah. I mean, I, yeah, sure, my first couple beers were shit beers. But then as soon as we were, like, drinking, having fun, 16, 17, we were... Already we were IPAs. already drinking IPAs and shit. And then so it's funny because it's just that it all just tastes the same to me. And I think that there's some level of it. It's just funny to me. Like, and I, this isn't even my thought. Like, uh, this has been said a lot before, but it's just like alcoholics, like justifying, like drinking at 10 a.m. They're like, oh, can I get a, uh, yeah. a, double, all a double hazy IPA, please? Yeah. Uh, you know. Or the all day, the founders all day IPA. Is what yeah. Like, which is just, a, it's like the same shitty like ipa flavor well i think it's shitty but it's less alcohol so they call it the all day so that you can drink them the way you would a miller light they're promoting like just drink it all day yeah yeah for real do you not you know founders? i've heard of it you know, i think i heard that's of it legit that's the idea yeah. it's like are hey, they a local thing or is that founders a is uh i think fa isn't founders and uh, an Oregon beer? Maybe. See, Founders, I'm bad. At, I don't I care about the beer. I can't. Right. Well, I worked at a liquor store for two years in, oh, Boston, okay. in Boston. Okay. So, like, I learned. All, I don't even partake in those beers. That makes but, a lot of sense. But when now, you're yeah. working at the liquor store, people want to ask you questions. Right. I would just lie. I I learned. <laughs> I learned. I learned the bare minimum of how to just. I just knew the names and brands and what they were. But I would just lie. I'd be like, "Well, this one's got more of the uh, the you like the bitter." Or do you like the, or, You're just or do you like full the citrus? Of shit. Yeah, and I'm like, and then, dude, what's funny is they believe you. Yeah. They're just like, oh, he works, he works at a liquor store. He must know. And he took it home and he went, boy, he was right. Yeah. The IBUs on this are just through the roof. 100%. And, and they came back and they said, hey, Mason, thanks for that recommendation, yeah, I'm dude. Like, I no think, problem. Yeah, exactly. You like Yo, pumpkin fucking. spice? We got fucking, yeah, exactly. it's October. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you just push whatever that uh -huh. beer, you know? When when was uh what what's the oldest memory of getting drunk for you like your first oh I, your first getting drunk do you remember uh -huh. your first getting drunk a hundred percent tell me I was uh, it was in Arkansas and um, I don't know why that was funny to me but Arkansas well, is just up. a funny state I grew up in Arkansas oh okay yeah. cool yeah so actually so there's some all right literally the first time I drank this I one hundred percent remember I was in eighth grade so you're fourteen right I don't know Four, how old I think are you fourteen. Well, it doesn't. Everyone's the same age in whatever that grade might be. <laughs> True. <Yeah. laughs> You're right. but, I'm sorry. I wasn't. I didn't hear that part. <laughs> but anyway, so for whatever, 14, and uh, it was a snow day, 
we had a snow day and uh, i still was real big into motocross i still had all my dirt bikes and stuff yeah and uh i had a friend stay over and i had never even thought of drinking like i wanted to drink but i hadn't done it yet and my and my mom so one of her friends came over and left a bottle of canadian mist whiskey i don't think i've ever heard of that it's a it's just like a really shitty crown royal called canadian mist and it's in a plastic jug okay and uh, my mom doesn't drink and then my stepdad at the time he didn't drink so this bottle had dust on it it was just in my basement and my buddy was like dude let's fucking get drunk <laughs> And we'll ride dirt bike. <laughs> oh, no, and I was no, like, no. I was like, I don't know, man. And, then, and he's like, No, let's do it. And so oh, we, shit. I just remember we went and we got it. And uh, he's like, All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a sip of this. I think I had a Monster Energy. He's like, Take a, take a sip of the Monster, which is the trademark drink of the dirt bike community. Yeah, at the time, Monster, because it, you know, Monster Supercross is what is the professional. It's Monster Supercross. Right. And uh, so I'm like, all right, so you take the sip of the monster, then you swig the whiskey, and then you chase it, is what he called it. Right. And, and I was like, oh, chaser, that's cool. Yeah. And we did it. We got shit faced and didn't even ride the dirt bikes. I was like, I was <laughs> you like, got so drunk. I was like, I don't think it's a good idea. That's probably good. Look at you. Yeah. This, uh, just at 14 at a young age, yeah. a young boy, just uh, yeah. you had it all figured out. And that was the first time I got drunk, and then and then I was in love with it ever since. Dude, hell yeah. I love drinking. <laughs> I was in love with it ever since, Yeah, I dude. love drinking. Uh, I I'm, do, too. You know what's funny? It's just one of those things I was like, you know what? New Year. We're gonna drink a little less. We we went hard on and I and I and like yesterday I was like, I didn't have a drop. I didn't have a drop. And then I was like, you know what? Let's keep this going. And yeah. then I hit you up and I'm like, you need anything else to drink? You're like, I'm gonna get beer. And I was like, sweet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just like, yeah, dude, let's uh, go, dude. <laughs> so on the days that I don't drink, those are the days that I plan on that night I'm gonna do ketamine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you're trading one for a more powerful experience? Well, yeah, because like that's also for like more mental health, you know. Mm -hmm. Which, uh, by the way, I only get to say that now because now people do it with therapy. So yeah, they're like ketamine's for therapy. But dude, I, I this is I say this in my in my bit about it. But I'm like, yeah. I've been doing ketamine for ten years. <laughs> I was literally doing ketamine before people knew it was helpful. I was doing ketamine before it was cool. No, it was cool, but it was <laughs> it was because you're like, dude, if you do ketamine while you're on acid, you'll trip harder. Oh, okay. Like, that's why people were doing, they're like, dude, you'll trip way harder. And I'm like, yeah, ketamine this is great. And then, you know, now, over the last couple of years, f come to find out, it treats depression. And it's like, yeah, that's definitely why we're doing it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's. I mean, they kind of did the same thing with weed, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I was in Oregon for, like, all the legalization, and I worked at dispensaries, and I owned a farm for a little bit and shit. I worked on a farm in Grants Pass. Nice. So, you know, yeah. yeah, yeah. I lived Pass in a camper for a month and a half. Interesting. Oh. Probably a lot lot better than Arkansas. Dude, no, it's exactly the same. Yeah, yeah it's it exactly, exactly the same, the same as Arkansas, for pretty, dude. People are on meth. People yeah. are oh, fucking, so many there's people. There's rednecks you everywhere. You know, Salem, Oregon was the meth capital of the United States I when, I was, when I was in, like, middle school. They yeah. were, and they came into like the lot the gym class and showed us like pictures of people on meth yeah and they were like salem's a meth capital like yeah. don't end up like this they're like this lady's 29 yeah she looks like she's 80 yeah. <laughs> this like, lady's what? 10 years younger than your mother yeah and we're just like what the like, fuck so, like yeah uh, just like scratching their fucking face I and always, shit. that's something fun. i always tell people i'm like dude meth and rednecks and like poor people and crazy wild shit it's not geographical Right. It's just rural areas. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter if you're in California. I saw Trump flags when I went to Oregon. Uh huh. And rebel oh, flag, yeah. Trump and rebel flags, all the way rural, up to Portland, everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's cities that are the liberal spots. It is kind of weird. Like it's and people are smoking meth everywhere. It's yeah. not just Arkansas or Mississippi. Well, it's funny how once you reach, like, I don't know. Is meth more fun, or excuse me, is fentanyl more fun than meth? Well, because they're opposites of the... Right, but is, is one more fun than the other? Because in my head, because I've never tried either of them. Oh, I've done... Both. Really? Well, well, well fentanyl I, was an accident. I but. did, I did, uh, I did definitely have, like, ecstasy tablets in high school that, that had, were, that had meth, meth in them. Yeah. And those were the Hunter best, dude. Yeah. And the blue like, dolphins were wild. That was... Yeah. <laughs> do you remember the purple, do you remember the purple naked ladies? 
It we was, had we had purple omegas or something. So these were, uh, and it was back when people thought it mattered if it was a triple stack or a double oh, yeah, stack. I which that. Come, come to find out, that's not even. It has nothing to do with anything. Yeah. And uh, but we would get these ones that had the, uh, you know, like on the on the behind the tires, the mud flaps uh-huh. that have the hot chick yeah. silhouette sitting on it, so sitting these down, kind of with her like, leg up. Yeah, and these were they called them purple naked ladies. Mm-hmm. Those were massive. Okay, in, my in, Ar- in Arkansas, yeah, yeah. Arkansas, <laughs> yeah, dude. And they would you'd just be like, <laughs> oh yeah, dude. The, one of the worst, one of the craziest stories, and I think I told this on the pod another time, but I don't care. Uh, I was at this college uh, or high school graduation party for. Uh, for like our class of 09 you know and it was this weird thing that happened at the end of high school where like like the labels didn't matter anymore and everyone was cool it was like yeah. a rare thing where like the jocks were like come over to the party dude yeah you know right, what i mean right, and you're right, like right. what yeah <laughs> you called me a faggot earlier yeah like, you, what you, are you threw me in that locker yeah exactly Remember? yeah and uh and so we went to this party at this dude's house and um, his parents were gone. He lived on Bull Mountain, which was like the fucking Hall- Beverly Hills of Oregon, right? Of okay. Tigard, right? Of with the suburb I grew up in. It was like okay. The, he, he, mommy, and daddy's on Bull Mountain. He a lot had like of whites. he had a lot of whites, a lot of whites. Yep. Uh, the only people of color there were Latino. Yeah, and they <laughs> were doing I mean? the yards and stuff. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. Uh, there was just a few, you know, like friends, you know, uh, high school students, but. Anyway, there was a big party there, and so we and my little, like, you know, degenerate group of friends, we were like, dude, we got some fucking uh, purple Omegas. Like, yeah. let's pop these, you know, when they had, like, the horseshoe on them. And, okay. uh, oh, and gotcha. so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen those before. And so, uh, I'm sure you have, yeah, yeah. dude. And so, uh, I took one of those, and I was, like, waiting for it to kick in, and I start. it started feeling, like, really weird. And, like, we were doing a bunch of ecstasy and, like, just listening to music and, like, rubbing blankets. And, oh, like, yeah. feel this, yeah. dude. Have you felt this yet? Like, that was that wall. was what we would say, dude. Yeah, it was just like yeah. that. But it's like, dude, have you felt this yet? Yeah. That's what we would say. I used to rub my face on the back seat of my buddy's truck. Yeah. Like, Here, pull like, this in front of you a little bit. Great. It's just... It's oh, getting like under oh, your it, chin. Just it, get it. it um, just get it to your. It keeps going down on its own. Oh, it's okay if it goes down a little bit. But yeah, there how you about go. that? Oh, that's great. Is that better? That's juicy. Cool. Um, but anyway, so I popped this pill and I'm fucking like waiting. And and I, in retrospect, it's so dorky and druggy and stupid. I was sitting there listening to like Benny Benassi oh, in my yeah. headphones, right? Yeah. At this party that's going on. It's like a graduation party. All the hot girls are there from high school. Right. You know, like the girls that would never look at me or whatever. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> and. And then so, uh, so I do this pill and I start feeling fucked up because I want to party like in my head, but I can't move my body. Yeah. So I'm sitting in a, in a chair and like my listening to techno music and I have one. Oh, uh, you were just listening to your own headphones. <laughs> I thought you meant like no. with the part. I, like, I had school candies. That's in. way like that's nerdier. nerdy as fuck, dude. <laughs> yeah. It's You're so just like, I'm gonna sit here and be high. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and you're was, just looking at everyone. <laughs> and I and I and I have one uh, Corona in my hand that you're not even drinking. That I'm not even yeah. drinking. I'm sitting in a recliner in Dad's recliner at this house party with the parents out of town. Yeah, and. Uh, and I'm fucking like raving in my mind, but paralyzed physically. And right. I cannot stand up. And I finally stand up and I go, we're not doing this right now. Like, I'm not going to throw up right now. I'm There's everyone's here. I'm not going to throw up right now. Uh-huh. And so I walk out to the porch to like get some fresh air. And there's like a big hot tub or whatever. And they're like, get in the hot tub. And it's like gir- girls and friends that I would never, you know, be allowed to talk to normally. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, okay. And so I get in the hot Maybe that'll make me feel better. So no. I get in the hot tub. And I'm sitting on, like, the edge of the hot tub. It's, like, on this raised porch, you know? Mm -hmm. And then behind me, though, there's, like, a space between this porch hot tub and the fence. There's just some grass, right? And so uh, the hot girls eventually get up. I'm holding in pukes right now because I'm, like, fuck. I'm not going to be that fucking guy that throws up in the hot tub. I was telling myself, no, we're not doing – we're not throwing up in the hot tub on ecstasy at fucking the the banging high school party with all the hot chicks. And so I – the hot girls get up out of the pool to go migrate and I turn my head I was like it's now or never I turn my head and I and I projectile silent projectile vomit is how I like that's kind of how I do it I just go (sighs) and this just kind of (laughs) sprays out of me that's that's how I throw up dude and so I did that I just go like I just kind of lean back and go 
and my buddy Cameron, Cameron DeMarco, if you watch this, he he remembers this. Uh, he was walking around oh, like on no. the other side of the fence. No, but he was the only one that saw oh, me. Oh, I thought you were gonna say no. Nobody on. saw me or heard me at all, and I just threw up in this little this little you know right, spot perfect. of grass between the fence and the hot tub porch. Yeah, and I just uh, and nobody sees it. No chunks. You know what I mean? And he, I look up from my puking, right, and he's locked eyes on me, and I and he was like, "Did you just puke?" <laughs> and I was like. Yeah, and he was like, awesome, dude, because <laughs> nobody saw it. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> yeah, dude, and job. I got the off scot free, puke. dude. Yeah. And then I think the cops raided the party and we all had to like run away. Yeah. But that was my moment from that party. I was like, dude, I puked hard and I should have, nobody saw it. Hell I yeah. got away with it, dude. Perfect. I got away with it, dude, bro. Dude, there's nothing worse than when you're at a, or well, back now it's like whatever. Yeah. But when you're at, like, when you get accepted and, you know, you get to, like, you know, because I was kind of like, I wasn't an athlete. I raced motocross, and I was yeah. in a metal band. But that wasn't really cool yet. It, it, well, see, was it was it? cool, but no one really gave a shit. Right. It was cool to, like, me. Like, I, I thought I was cooler than anyone there because right. I raced motocross. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. Still do. I'd bring, yeah, I'd, I'd come to school with my bike in the truck. Oh, that's and I, that's and I, a I, fucking flex, dude. Exactly. Did you have the fucking, like, lockdown oh, tie yeah. on it and yeah, everything? Yeah, I, I had a brand new, my senior year, I had a brand new YZ250F in 08. I'm not a car guy. I don't know what that is. Uh, I'm not a bike there, guy. Yeah, well, it was just a brand new motocross look it, bike. Look it up, Tony. Oh, will it come up over here? Yo, you bet it will. So it was a 2008 YZ250F. And, Let's uh, fucking see some but, bikes, dude. But I was driving around in my, and I had a 1992 Chevy single cab S10 four-wheel drive dude, long, were you, wheelbase. Were you fucking early? No, well, were no, you I fucking was a late early? bloomer. Were you? Yeah. All right, got, we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, Look but at that. yeah, so that blue, see the blue one right there, uh, and the, the second one right there, but, but to the left, number forty-five, that one up there at the top, top left. Now second over one. one, that was my bike. Damn. Yeah, I was so proud of that fucking Look thing, dude. And but uh, I'd yeah, I would roll up to school with that in the back back of the truck. That's such a flex, but, um, dude. That's such a flex. The but, jock dudes that were driving but, their parents' fucking shitty car, they were like, oh, yeah. "Fuck this guy." Well, I mean, yeah, but my truck was shitty, so I guess that's why no one really thought it was yeah. that cool. So you had but a nice bike and a shitty my truck. Tr the bike was more than my truck. <laughs> that was an eight thousand dollar bike, whereas my, awesome. my truck was probably two grand. That's awesome. But man. um. Anyways, uh, but yeah, and then I was in a metal band. I was a drummer for a metal band. You were? Yeah. No way. Yeah, what you was your can, band uh, called? You can look, uh, if you go to YouTube. Oh, yeah, dude, let's find that. Uh, I don't mind. You can uh, go to YouTube and type in uh, Soul Stripped. Soul Stripped. That's yeah. not a bad band. That's That holds up. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We thought it was Soul cool. Stripped. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that <laughs> what kind of band was it? Metal. We sounded, we were a Lamb of God knockoff. So Do you have like a video? Down, I, can, I don't know if uh, we can type like in, type in "soul stripped" and then put "the angels have fallen." No, are no, you no. guys on? Put like, "hell awaits us" after that. "Hell awaits us." Are you guys on like uh, Spotify and stuff? No. Dude, okay, this good. Was... Because I was like, it might not even, it might not even try to demonetize us. Well, or no, and it's also it's we're not monetizing. Ba it's anyway. my band too. So True, I you think can just I release say, it or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, just God, go to YouTube website, Tony. Oh, is that not what we're at? No, no. We're oh, yeah. Go to YouTube, YouTube. Just type in YouTube up top, buddy. You got Tony. Tony, you're fucking killing me right now. There we go. Uh, yeah, and Soul Stripped. <laughs> Only one O. <laughs> soul Stripped. <laughs> soul Train? Uh, soul by soul the way. Stripper? That's an ACDC song called Soul Stripper. Hell awaits us, yeah. That should come up. Uh, down, down. Is it a slate? No. Is it Hello Eights? Okay. <clears throat> Are you sure it's on YouTube, dude? It, wait, it was, unless my, unless someone got in there somehow and took it down. Uh, go back up and take away Hello Eights Us. Soul Stripped Band Arkansas. Now, yeah, maybe that'll help. <clears throat> That's Banff. God damn it, Tony. I'm just kidding. I'm just giving. I'm trying to give Tony more shit, because people like that. You yeah. Know, when you give your guy shit. Oh, Tony's yeah. Tony's the mean, sweetest... Smartest person I know, but he's oh uh, take okay. It's not too happening. Much stuff. You're gonna have to find it and send it to us. And yeah, can... well, fuck, because I found it when it's I did. Uh, I did Chris Tellez's podcast. Okay, and he was able to find it. What the hell? Just one more time. Just take away Arkansas. Kind of YouTube. Take is... away band in Arkansas. Just do Soul Stripped. Let's see if it comes up. Oh, there it is, right there. Go oh down, wow, okay. Down endless war. Endless war. Yeah. 
That's me. This is me on drums. All right, let's hear it. Turn that Bluetooth. Oh, is the Bluetooth not on the? It is. Should be. It's connected on, on the uh, laptop. No. Yeah. Hell yeah. Let's hear. It. That's a. That's you look like a black metal band. It looks like a black metal band. Oh, dude, we were. We thought we were fucking. We thought we were heavy. I bet we, you we, were. We recorded at the same studio. That uh, Evanescence did their first uh, EP, sick, or or their first like demo. It's a weird flex. And I like that. well, they're from Little Rock. Oh, so they're at, like the pride of Arkansas. At the time, it was like <laughs> a big deal because they got their song. Uh, they did that thing with Twelve Stones, and the song that "Wake Me Up." Yeah, wake, wake me, me up, up inside. inside. Can't and, wake up. That song was Say in that man. that movie uh, where the blind dude Ben Affleck's blind superhero Daredevil. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that movie where Ben Affleck is blind. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck refers to Daredevil as that, dude? I didn't even remember it was Ben Affleck. How did you how did you remember that Ben Affleck's name before Daredevil, dude? I don't know. How does your brain work? I'm trying Not to figure good. out your beer math and like yeah. your fucking um, well, is it not? It. I guess it's not. Is it not work, working? But. It's not staying connected. Is your phone still on it? No, I I uh, turned it off. It's fine. Well, now now you can maybe find it later, but Yeah. Um, it looks like it's connected. That's weird. Is the slider up on the Bluetooth? Thing? Yeah. Okay. But yeah. so, anyways. Yeah, we'll look getting, it up. Now they know where it is. Soul Strip. Yeah. Endless War. Fuck. Um, I'm sorry. But uh, so the getting accepted and getting invited to like the rich kids party. My senior year, I got invited to the Halloween party at mm -hmm. uh, my rich friend's house. Her dad was a dentist, and they lived in this. So our, you know how you said yours was Bull Mountain. Bull Mountain. Yeah. So ours was Skyline. Oh, we had that, a skyline too. That was yeah, like yeah, where yeah. all our rich and hilltop. Yeah. It was Hilt hilltop oh. and skyline. Ooh. Yeah, and I got invited, and I'm like so excited. You know, I got my flask with my my T W Samuels in there. <laughs> you know that shitty whiskey. No, I don't oh, know what that. What about is, Kentucky dude. Deluxe? You ever did? Ever You're had just that? naming off liquors. I don't know. Dude. Canadian. What was the first Canadian one? Canadian Miss. Canadian Miss. <laughs> Doesn't even sound real. It is Canadian <laughs> mist. Yeah, and then uh, but Kentucky Deluxe was fourteen dollars oh for a God. giant plastic one point seven five <laughs> jug, and it would it would get the whole party. Is just, that a liter? Uh, no, one point seven five liters. Yeah, oh the, my God. They, they called it a half gallon. Yeah, a half gallon. Yeah. Yeah, but um, Jesus Christ. So you'd pour that in a flask and show up, and you thought you were so cool because you got. Right. And it's a flask that you stole from Hastings. Yeah. You know? Do you remember Hastings? Do you, you guys know you had Blockbuster? Oh yeah, Did yeah. Did Blockbuster Blockbuster. have the, the like trinket section? Yeah, yeah, yeah like so right at the counter, like they a had little like mini weird Spencer gifts, and, and yeah, and it was almost like shit that the movie companies would send them, like per, like a Godzilla pint glass, right? Or some, it, some, yeah, some shot glass. Yeah, it was little and, branded, like the whatever new movie was, in, right, right, in, in, yeah. So we would steal from there. And it was just like something that everyone did, <laughs> and like, and so I had stole this cool flask, uh -huh. and um, I took it to the party, and I'm getting pretty, you know, drunk, and we're sitting in this room, we're all about to smoke a joint, and the 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 chick that I was friends with that invited me, her little brother, he was only one grade below us, mm -hmm. and he, I remember he like touched my leg, and I go, don't touch me, and he goes, do you want to fight? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and he stood up, and then I stood up, and I just punched him right in the face. like, And it split his lip because oh, no. he had braces. And so it split his lip, and there's just blood everywhere. And he and I'll never forget the two chicks that we're gonna, we were all about to smoke with go, Mason, he was joking. <laughs> and I was like, and uh, I, this little scar right here, that's from, from his the braces. braces. But I go, so I'm bleeding too. And I'm like, uh, Oh, well, I'm going to go. <laughs> and I just ran away from the party and yes. had a friend pick me up down the road. <laughs> Come to find out the next day, I found out at school on like that Monday, he had to get stitches. Oh and I saw God. him and he had, he had like five stitches. And I was like, I'm sorry, dude. I, you said, do you want to fight? And I was, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Only fight I ever won. So don't ask Mason if you want to fight because he'll just fucking punch you in the mouth, dude. 
How drunk were you on Old Rambler or whatever it was uh, fucking called? Uh, I was pretty sure. I would, whatever yeah. whiskey name you just made that up. Was Kentucky Deluxe. <laughs> yeah, that sounds so fake. I swear you're making these up. I'm not. Kentucky <laughs> Deluxe, swear. dude. Kentucky Deluxe, give Canadian me, Mist. Give me a couple fake ones real quick. Just rattle me off a few uh, fake. What other, what other whiskeys did you drink in Arkansas, dude? Uh, I mean, Arkansas Rambler sounds pretty <laughs> yeah, good. Uh, Ramblin' Man whiskey. Uh, I don't know. Why is Rambler just such a good fucking... Isn't there... There's a, uh, a sparkling water that's a Rambler here. Yeah, here, right? yeah, yeah. That's a word they use here for some reason a lot. Yeah, well, it's like it's all... Like, it's on all kinds of shit. Yeah, Texas, I guess. I don't, I don't get um, What do you think about... Do you like... Uh, how long have you been in Texas? I've been here since July of uh, 22. So I've been okay. here almost... In July this year, it'll be two years. Okay, so October 1st was my two years. Nice. What do you think about it? I fucking love it here. Yeah. I'm never leaving. And you don't play music here, though, do you? I do. A couple times a year. Just I'm just like not like a local band. So I'm actually working on very low-key. I'm st I'm trying to, like, jam with some guys. and uh, I'm a drummer. Nice. What do you play? I'm a vocalist. So okay. I'm trying sick. to jam and just, like, sing. I've I have been, a kid. I've been singing a lot recently. So yeah. I like to sing. Like, I like to do my metal thing. I... I I basically never ever want. I don't think I ever want to start like another like metal core, of course, like a yeah, metal yeah, core band. Like I kind jam. of already did that, and I've been I've had the same one for ten years, which is hard. Like not a lot of very people hard. can keep that same and same dudes. You very know what hard, I mean? Very hard. Um, and like so, I I want to do something jammy or something fun, some covers maybe. You know, I'm super, I'd be super down Let's to just get with fucking you. Jam. You got a practice spot or you guys have a house? I, my house is so I can't even set my drums up. It's so oh, small. Oh shit! But I have a I have a compact Roland mm. and it's a very good quality, very expensive. I have my own PA. Mm -hmm. I got a badass uh, long pedal, long board, double uh, pedal, Iron Cobra. Oh, nice. No, Speed Demon by Tama, I believe. Speed uh, Demon. Yeah, and they're longboard, too, because I do heel toe, and I would love to jam. Let's do it. Yeah. <clears throat> and I'll I can, I can bring out it some... anywhere. It's super easy to, super easy bust to out get some, it around. Some vocals. You yeah, we know, could get, uh, you know, Anthony, the, the door guy at uh, yes. Mothership? Yeah, I'm going to go see get, Anthony's, uh, uh, I'm going to go to Anthony's show. On at the far out, he's playing at the far out lounge on the fifth. Okay, I'm cool. Go they, watch him um, play. they played the other night at Vulcan. Nice. What, what, what's his band name again? Nice, dude. That the trademark. Like Lamb of God. That did sound like Lamb of God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been getting back into metal because uh, I listen to metal at the gym, mm -hmm. and I've been starting to get back into finding like newer shit. Yeah. And I just found. I just watched. Uh, Lamb of God just put out a documentary about uh, making that album from 2022. Okay. Omens. Okay. With the new drummer. Yeah. Great documentary. Okay. It's on YouTube. And that album's sick. Nice. I'll check yeah, that out. It's fucking dope. I, there was another documentary. You ever seen that documentary? I've been giving Randy Blythe some shit on the podcast. Really? But yeah, yeah. Do you know him? No, no. Oh, okay. No, I don't. I was just kind of like, I got too whiskey drunk and was kind of just saying, speaking my mind, yeah. saying my feelings. You yeah, know? I mean, he, he just said some wild shit. He just said some fucking shit about the, like, Forcing people to get the vaccine that didn't work, oh, didn't Jesus. didn't didn't age well, and it was not very punk rock of him. That's weird. He's yeah. from Virginia, <clears throat> and they're all like, you know, he's like, get the vaccine. My friends are doctor. You get the vaccine. It's like Good I don't want to fuck. I don't want to go into it. Yeah, but but uh, but you know, I I'm sure he's a good guy. I don't you know. Yeah, who knows? He was just trying to fucking say the right thing for clicks and shit. I uh, I roadied for them at um. There was this venue in Little Rock called mm -hmm. The Village, mm -hmm. and it was shaped like a big uh, golf ball. And on the inside, it was like, um, like the, like a, like an old theater, like. like Can we pull like, up pictures of it? You think or no? Yeah, you look up the village in Little Rock, Arkansas. It's they might have. I know it's not a the venue village anymore. venue. They turned it into a church, I believe. In in Little Rock, the village in in Little Rock, Arkansas. The village uh, try venue. Try typing. Yeah, the village music venue. Why are we having such a hard time? The new image, yeah. <clears throat> That's it right oh, there. Oh, nice. That place looks cool. It looks like so, one of, you know what it looks like? One of those, like, like Asian churches. Have you ever seen those before? Uh, Where you, like, like we had a lot. One? Maybe. We had, yeah, we had, like, a lot of them in, uh, in, in Oregon just randomly, like. Oh, okay. And, and there were just these dome, like, church things. It's but, crazy. So I think now, I don't think it's open anymore, mm -hmm. if it's even there. But I think now it's a church or something. Yeah. But. It's an Asian church, probably. 
<laughs> yeah, maybe it might. They be. were like, "This is the same shape." But so, anyways, <laughs> I used to get to go. They would let you uh, have backstage passes and get to see the show for free if you would just help Rody. Oh, nice! So you would just help them load in, load out. That's and not do, sketchy at all. Do whatever they need. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Like some dude like wants to fucking attack one of the well, bandmates. Like, you can gotta I help Rody? <laughs> yeah. You got it. You got to like someone has to be like. I yeah. know him, so yeah. I can bring Randy you. can or whatever. Yeah. yeah, so I went and did it for uh, uh, Lamb of God one time That's and Guar. Opened. Lamb of God fucking shreds. And I wasn't. I'm not talking. Oh, about dude, they're yeah. they're, they're literally fucking, they're in awesome. my opinion, they're they're like the best that yeah. like groove metal that ever oh, yeah. existed. But uh, it was when Chris Adler was still with them. It was 2009 or 10, and uh, I got to help put together Chris Adler's drum set. On the, oh, it was on the Wrath tour. You were just like, <laughs> oh my god! I was literally like touching it. Like I'm like, oh, this is so <laughs> sniffing his drum seat. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> just like licking his sticks. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is like, so cool, Chris. Dude, it was it was really uh, one of the coolest experiences. I was only, I was like 18, 17, mm -hmm. so maybe 16. I don't even remember. Yeah. And um, Guar was opening, mm -hmm. and it was before I got to see the original all Guar. We had to cover the speakers with Viz Queen, like plastic, yeah. because they spray like Oh, yeah, they spray shit all over, all over the, the place. place. Yeah. yeah, it was cool. They had it. Michael Jackson was fucking a baby. Uh, <laughs> like, because like that was in the news or whatever? It, yeah, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and uh, Obama, they had a big Obama head that came out. And, and they, they cut his head off or whatever. They chainsawed his head and it pops back. And I <laughs> love that Guar has never taken a political stance. Like, whoever the president is, and they, they make just, a yeah. dummy and cut his head cut off it, every yeah, night. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Yeah. Who it is? I'm they did it with they Trump. They did it with one. Biden. They did it with yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, my it was my super cool. My, one of my guitarists uh, a couple years ago went on tour with a band that toured. He was guitar teching for Necro Goblicon. Okay, and that they sounds toured. Familiar, but I don't. The know. little go green goblin guy comes out on stage. Like, okay. it's, it's is kind of weird. Just a midget in an outfit. It's like a really small guy. It's not quite a midget, but oh, it's okay. like a really small. guy. Pull up a uh, Necro Goblicon, dude. I'm sorry, we're putting you to work. Good Tony. luck spelling that. He knows how to spell it. I'm pretty oh. sure. Um, Tony's a metal guy. Uh, oh, okay. But uh, he was guitar teching, and they were touring with Guar, opening up for Guar. Yeah. So he was, like, uh, hanging out with these guys and shit and, like, just seeing Guar every night, which was, like, sounds crazy. It sounds tiring. But uh, he was saying that the dudes, like, had these monitors. The Guar guys had the, these monitors in the back of their road rigs, like, their guitar rigs. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're just playing porn 24 hours a day. Like, con as soon as they set them up, it's, like... Just but is that for a bit going. or no? I, it's or they're I think all it's like addicts. Like, no, I think it's like for a bit, um, <clears throat> like among the touring guys. Like I think it's just okay. like so. Like somebody from the venue staff walks in and goes, and "The just fuck? Porn. Yeah, there's you guys just are just porn watching going. porn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that, they're not watching it even. It's just it's literally like it's just all it's like background noise. Well, it's like I don't even know if there was a volume, but it's just porn going on this monitor. Yeah, that's like fa it's not facing like the crowd. It's like facing like the the backstage, right? Okay. So it's like the all the backstage people just have people to look getting, at it. Yeah, and it's just kind of silly. And then he was saying that the, the another thing that was funny about Guar was. That if you're uh, that like every day they would do this like rehearsal meeting where they would have the guys from Guar and go, OK, so you're going to bring the giant penis out and spray the cum. And then that's yeah. when I go and they're like dead serious oh, about yeah, this shit. Yeah. But just the, what they're saying, he was saying was so ridiculous. So you're going to come out with the giant cock and cut it yeah. in half. And then I'm going to spray the, the cock blood on everyone. Right. And then you're going to come out with the cum gun. And then they, you know, yeah, and like, then you bring out Michael Jackson. You bring the baby out yeah. after they fuck. <laughs> yeah, then, exactly. Then Obama Obama's gonna come out and we're gonna chop his head off. Yeah, exactly. So just make sure you're Obama, make sure you're ready. Yeah. Dude, uh, and by the way, the people that are in those suits, those are not band members. They're just people they well, they're they're members of the mm -hmm. crew of, right. of, of Guar. Of Guar. They're like actors. They basically. stand in the back. They're the ones that I hung out with the most because oh, okay. they're not on stage the whole time. Mm -hmm. So they're in the back doing those changes. They're on stilts. Yeah. Like, and you have to like help them like in and shit. It's fucking crazy. Sometimes I, I, I like had to hand them stuff. Mm -hmm. And they were the ones, they're like, yeah, we're just, we're just these, this is our job. Yeah. And they're just like, yeah, we're just friends. We just, yeah. we, I know John, you know, whatever the names How were. How crazy is and that? And that was their job. Their job was to be that person that comes out. <laughs> oh, did you see Guar this weekend? I was the giant cop. Yeah, yeah, that was me. I, yeah, that I was, was me. the one that I was that Michael baby. Jackson. Yeah. Fucking the crazy. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this it, is Necro Goblin. Um, so my buddy would dress oh, this wow. guy up every night. That was one of his jobs was he had to dress the goblin up. And does he sing? I don't or is he think, a prop? Is I don't he just think a, he really used to sing, but I think now he does. They have the guy, what's his name, from Infinite Annihilator. Uh, 
<laughs> which is Dan this Watson? is metal. Yeah, uh, L- Dicky. Oh, Austin Dicky. Austin Dicky or whatever. Or no, no, not Austin Dicky. That guy's from a different band. It's Dicky something. Dicky something or other. Austin Dicky is from uh, some band from uh, I forget their name. Oh, They're not a band Dickie anymore. Dicky Allen. Right? Dicky Allen. Yeah. yeah, he's in. Um, he's a really crazy vocalist. Infant Annihilator. Write that down, dude. Okay. Talking about. <laughs> Talk about looking, baby. Infant Annihilator is a crazy metal infinite? band. But infant. Infant. Infant Annihilator. How do you spell infant? <laughs> is that I N F I N T? Infant? Have <laughs> <No. laughs> a little spelling bee. No, it's no, it's I. Uh, try again. Is that is it an E? e? <laughs> is the infant is the I silent? Infant. <laughs> Like a baby? Yeah. I infant. Is there it's I N F E N T. Is it I E G H P No F No P H I N T Do you really not know how to spell it? The first one was legit. I'm saying I N F I N T. That is not how you spell infant. So is it I N F E N T? No. Then I don't know. <laughs> It's it's I N F A N T infant, which doesn't make that's any sense. Infant. That's how you. St- that's how you. I was one it. letter off. Y'all acted like there was a ph in there or something. <laughs> Could you? A ph. Infant and then what? You overcomplicated it. Yeah, but you, what was it? Infant? It's it's I N F A N T. No, I got that. What was this? Oh, annihilator. Oh, let's. You want me to give that a whirl? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Annihilator. Okay. Yeah, and I'm give being it a whirl. dead serious. Okay. I know. Let's give it a whirl. Anni. Okay. I actually don't even know if I can spell that. All word. right. I got two. I'm confused off the bat. <laughs> the it's word either, is it's either annihilator. It's either yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do it again. The word is annihilator. Annihilator. A N I G H I L A T E R. Let's see, let's see, let me see it. That is incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I thought it might be like alignment. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Put it on the camera. I got a show. I got a show. Let me know when when you have it. Here, baby, this one's better. Let me know when you have it. Uh, a little bit. Yep. (laughs) Dude, no. So, all right. Hang on, hang on. Can can you You, spell it? You put like. (laughs) The words nigh and later in there, dude. I, I don't like, look. I don't think I can really spell that one. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna have to agree with you that it's a weird one because there's like a weird, it's like anhiliator basically is I yeah. think how it's because there's an H in there. That's why I so thought, the like, H alignment. Is, <laughs> the alignment's got a G. I think it's right? A N. Here, it helps I think if it's you write a, it. I think it's <laughs> does it yeah. does it help <laughs> if I write it because yeah. you were fucking way off, dude. <laughs> Yeah, but you don't even know. How do you know that's wrong? I know that that's not right. I know there's no G in Annihilator, and the end of it is not spelled like later, y'all. You know, that's not how the end of it. I bet it's L- L-A-T-O-R. It is definitely a o- an O-R, I think. I think it's A-N, I want to say I-H-L-I. No. This is bad. I don't know how to spell it. I don't let know let how to spell Annihilator. One, one that's a weird one. That's okay. a weird word. I hate Not, it. All right. No, just tell me how to spell it. How do you spell it? Because now, I mean, now's a pretty Tony creative. doesn't even know how to spell it. Oh, there's two N's. Oh, there's two N's, those fucking assholes. Yeah, but okay, but I was right four? about I-H-I-L. I was right. I was pretty I- much right, but I had one N I was I-H-I-L-A-T-O-R. missing. I-H-I-L-A-T-O-R. Yeah, I was... Okay. I was right. I was right, Tony. I said I-H-L-I, did I not? Run back the tape. I H I. You're learning, dude. This is called learning with Mason Smith. L A T O R. Next, we'll spell. <laughs> there we go. Oh, dude. Nice. I'm surprised you can. I'm surprised you can spell Arkansas. To be honest yeah. with you. No, I'm just kidding. Um. All right. Cool. But we, yeah, dude. We all learned something today. I mean, yeah, you didn't know how to spell it either. I, I didn't. I actually did kind of. I was one in off. I think. And yeah, yeah. I and just, it was also. And how did you later. spell my band's name? 
B Y S T A N D E R. Wow, that's good. Nice. Yeah. I almost put an I. Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's the name of our group chat is by hyphen standard. Just oh, okay. try to make it a stupid gay joke. Um, but what we were talking about. What were we talking about? We were talking about <laughs> Guar and Infinite Annihilator oh, and the uh, bands. Uh, and uh, you were talking about Little Rock, Arkansas doing, oh, and, and doing teching roadie stuff games. or roadie yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But anyways, I, I just thought that was a. So why did cool you thing. stop? Why did you stop doing music? Uh, like, dude, that was because of drugs. Okay. Yeah, and what like drugs? my age. So like, from junior year to the end of senior year, I was in that metal band with Soul Stripped, and we were like, we were, in my opinion, we were pretty fucking good for teenagers. Like my our lead singer sounded just like Randy Blythe. Nice. Our style was very groove metal, mm -hmm. much like Lamb of God, and that was like who I loved. Yeah. So like I like was obsessed. With you were Chris living Adler. the dream. You were living yeah. the dream. Yeah. Yeah. And um, like I had a double bass Pearl drum set with a wraparound Gibraltar rack. I had cymbals going from a four inch splash, six, eight, ten. You had the whole fucking. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> and I was like good. Like, yeah. I was like, at the, yeah, I'm like, okay I'm excited now. to jam with you and hear I'm you okay play. now. We should fuck around. N yeah. We should fuck around. Hell yeah. And find it's, out. Yeah. And find and, out. But dude, uh, we were pretty good. And, um, after my senior year, so towards the end of my senior year, I kind of gave up our quick, it, I kind of stopped ri riding my dirt bike mm -hmm. and just got way into the music thing. Okay. And then started drinking and partying and oh, really like that. So after So high you were kind of like a match to gasoline with the music thing a little yeah. bit. Because that, that's like built for somebody who's going to go crazy drinking. For sure. That, yeah. Okay. It's like, yeah. Much like in comedy. It's yeah. Like your job is you can, you can drink while you're doing your job. Right. Yeah. Which is amazing. And so sort of gave up on the dirt bike dream. Gave up on the dirt bike stuff and really went full throttle music. And then the last like month of my high school, uh, whatever, my mom sold our ho the house that she had, which is where our band practiced. Oh, fuck. So like then we lost our practice spot. And then her, her husband, that was all his music equipment, not the drums, but the PA. Mm -hmm. So he took that and they moved to like Northwest Arkansas. So now we had no PA, no practice space. Damn. And my friends that I was in the band with were poor and degenerates. So we just, it just fell apart. Yeah. And so then I graduated high school, tried to go to college, did a semester and gave up on that, moved back to my hometown and just started doing drugs. <laughs> <laughs> that was your new, that was your new path. Oh yeah. It, it was, was like, cause I discovered acid, started doing acid, started doing, uh, ecstasy all when I had my first apartment at 18 Damn. With my first welding job, my first real job, because I was a welder for. So you were years. just getting basically for the for your age, you were getting like dumb money from uh, welding, no, right? I was like welding good, should be good. I was making like oh, $8 so it wasn't like trade. Like I was trade working in a work. factory, like doing like. Because usually you hear that like welders make a lot it's of money. It's a myth. It, okay, you, unless you're in like a union or you work I for see. yourself, like it's you just, can. not Don't get me wrong, you can kill it as uh -huh. a welder. But it's not like, but you can also be a welder in like a factory and make minimum Where you're wage. just doing like a machine. And 100%. Something like, oh, okay. Yeah, which I was like doing like, uh, I was building handrails. So it's like you're literally just like just little bitty tiny little welds. Doing you're, a hundred. You don't cutting even, your anyone, shit. Cutting your hand all day. It. Like anyone could be taught how to do what I was doing. Yeah. And, but my schedule was Monday through Thursday, four tens. And then nice. I had Friday, Saturday, Sunday to just, to just drugs, give it, get, just send it, you know? <laughs> and, dude, we would get – I mean, because I, I was the first one of my friend group to get an apartment. Right. I had a one-bedroom So it was basically just a fucking drug Flop bin. house, dude. Yeah. Just people getting fucked up. People fucking in the bedroom while people out here are doing – Get out of there. It's my turn. Yeah, 100%. Damn. 100%. It was nuts. Like, the, the landlord ended up coming over one day and be like – the fuck's going on there's like there's like there's like eight people passed out in my living room just all sleeping on top of each other like syringes and shit everywhere oh i was sharing my bed with like four other guys like, <laughs> like we would just like at wherever you could find a what? spot just get in here get in like, here you know? buddy yeah That's for real crazy. it was great we were drinking kentucky deluxe <laughs> I remember, dude. One time, I go, I go. We gotta clean these out. And I remember it took us like four trips. Dude, that's the first spit take on the pod. Dude. <laughs> you got me good, dude. <laughs> you got me good. We were just we were coming out with jugs of empty Kentucky Deluxe. Oh my god, dude. I think, I think when we cleaned them out, I think we threw away like thirty-two bottles 
or something like that, if I remember. Well, that's kind of amazing, though, because, like, if you, it, 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 like, you know, look at you now. I mean, I feel like you're doing good, you know. I feel like you're well, fucking, you look great. Your skin looks great. Like, most people never make it out of that is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, when you're drinking Kentucky Deluxe, sleeping in the bed with four guys. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? And just fucking sending it, you know? Yeah. Like, come on down, dude. And still getting up on yeah. Monday through Thursday. You're probably Thursday. meeting strangers back in Little Rock going, hey, you want to party? You're pretty cool. Oh, dude. At the bus stop. Dude, I got an apartment. Sure. You want to get fucked up? For sure. <laughs> Absolutely, dude. And but, then, like, you turned it around. I mean, you're. You got a nice well, truck. It took, you got me a fucking... getting, it took me getting arrested and catching oh. like, because in that period <laughs> okay. there was a lot of arrests. <laughs> I think I got arrested eleven or twelve times. <laughs> like I did Fuck. a lot of like like five to ten day stints in jail. Yeah. And then my last one for what? Well, the last the big one. This is the one that's like the where my life changed. Uh -huh. We uh so we used to go car hopping. You know what car hopping is? Where you're just checking doors. And yeah, stuff, yeah. And you just yeah, steal whatever's in there. Yeah. And uh, one time we got into this one truck and we stole a checkbook and a couple credit cards. Oh. So we just went. It was around Christmas time of 2011. And we all just just went and bought a bunch of shit, mm -hmm. you know. And then we went to the Walmart and we there was me and two of my friends. And one of my friends had a broke foot at the time. So he was on one of those rascals. <laughs> In the, but in the Walmart, you know, and it's like 3 a.m. Like Walmart's empty. Yeah. It's, you know, the only people out are us. People stealing shit. People that are, you know, I call it the Pepsi challenge. <laughs> it's like you smoke a bunch of meth and then you eat a handful of Xanax and you just kind of go and see what happens. <laughs> <And> like, <laughs> what does that have to do with Pepsi? Because <laughs> we loved Pulp Fiction and they called it the Pepsi challenge when he showed him the heroin. Oh, okay. We were like, oh, Pepsi challenge. <laughs> Dude, you guys are. And so, 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 you paint the picture again for me. Walmart, so, 3 a.m. There's four of you. Three. Three. One's got a broken foot. He's on the rascal. Yeah. And so, is he doing perimeter check? Because so he's he. We're gonna go. He's we, got so wheels. So he's got the ba basket too. So we don't need to bring a buggy. So we're gonna load him up with it, and let him drive it to the front. Right. Beer. So we each. No, this is a dry county. This is Russellville, Arkansas. <laughs> and and uh, so we each get a flat screen. We each got a 32-inch <gasps> flat screen. and then Which uh, were, like, really expensive back then, too. Uh, I think, They've gotten I think cheaper, right? they were right? even still, like, a buck fifty a piece or okay. something back not then. Okay, not, not, yeah, not that. Yeah, and we got the cheap, like, the, you know, like the not Samsung. Mm -hmm. Got whatever that might have been. Well, that was nice of you and, guys. Well, yeah, because we wanted to, we didn't want the check to be too much. Right. <laughs> We're like thinking, you know. Oh, anyway. yeah, you're we committing, you're committing check fraud. We That's don't right. want a red flag. Mm -hmm. So uh, we each get a flat screen, and then I got an Xbox, and my buddy got a PS3. It would have been three, right, at that time? And uh, so we got all this shit, right? And I think it, we might have each gotten a video game, too. Just, just you got to have something to play. Yeah, I don't want to just have the Xbox. Yeah, what, are you going to down play demos? Yeah, <laughs> so... And this was when you still had to have the Xbox Live card oh, I, to dude, make I, it work on the internet, yeah. you know? And we, we get to the checkout, and this lady just looks at us like, really? You know, like, what the hell? And she scans everything. This is why we got away with it. She scanned everything, so everything's got the magnet off. Everything is ready to be taken out of the store mm -hmm. without any, like, uh, repercussions, right? Right. And, and, then, and then we commit... And we give her the check. We pre-wrote it for $1,800. And we give her the check, and she looks at it. I thought she said, I'm going to go get you your change. What she really said was, I'll be right back. I got to go over here and, like— Call the police. It. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what she really said, but I thought I heard, do you want your change? Or I'm going to get you your change. So, like I said, everything's beeped and can be took out. Mm -hmm. So I go, you guys want to wait for change? They're like, no, we should just go. I'm like, yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. So we just leave. And so I'm like carrying my flat screen and the Xbox. My buddy's got his. Then my other friend's on the buggy. And we are we got to the truck. And I have a blow and go because I've had DWIs at the time. So like I'm like starting the truck. You got to like you got to do that. And I start the truck up and I look and my buddy's on the buggy going, go, go. Go, get ready, go, the guy on go. The rascal. Yeah, just, <laughs> like, just pulls up to the truck, gets in, just leaves the rascal in the parking lot. And I look, and we're being chased by the Walmart <gasps> people, and we take off. And, like, weeks <sighs> go by, 
Nothing happens. and uh, They got your license plate or something. Yeah, so come to find out, like, weeks later, I'm uh, all fucked up. And uh, me and my butter, buddy are on this old dirt, the one with the rascal, we're on, we're on this old dirt road. And I pass out in my front seat of my truck. And I wake up to him banging on the window. And there's a, a hay bale in the field behind him, and it's on fire. Like he lit a hay bale on fire. Oh my god! Who is this fucking guy and on the so, rascal? So I go, I go, like oh, and I roll the window down, and he punched me in the face. He just like punched me right in the nose, and then goes, "The cops are coming! Run!" <laughs> <laughs> and so what kind I'm of like, fucking trailer trailer park boys life were you living, dude? <laughs> it was wild. It was wild. Holy shit! And so and so then he runs away and gets in another car. And leaves me. I'm bleeding. I, there's a hay bale on fire. You didn't oh, even light, have anything to do with the fire. No, I was just taking a cat nap. <laughs> and so he goes, I forgot. I go, why is the hay bale on fire? What the fuck? Why'd you hit me? And he goes, I dropped my pills and I needed light. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so he leaves me. I and, needed light like a tor torch yeah, in a like, cave? Because he couldn't find his pills that he dropped. Holy shit. Yeah, so like I like start driving, and uh, I remember, because, uh, you know, when you're getting fucked up like that, you like you live at Grandma's house. Like, all, <laughs> like, like always. <laughs> so I'm on my Nobody way. Nobody gets fucked up like that <laughs> and lives with and lives with a roommate. or li you're, you're, you're you, you live at Grandma's house. You live at Grandma's house. Always. <laughs> It's because it's the last person. I know somebody it's who the, got that fucked up and lived at their grandma's house, dude. <laughs> it's the last person that's not going to tell you no. Yeah, like, you've ruined every relationship in your whole life in every living situation. No one will live with you. Your parents won't have you, so you uh, got to go oh, to, you gotta dad, go to you, Meemaw's house. And you ain't getting anywhere near your dad's house. No. Like, no you've way. You've been a disappointment to him for years. At least two at that point. Yeah. And so I'm on my way back to grandma's house, <sighs> and I got my Xbox and the TV, and I've got, and I just got Taco Bell. I'm so excited! Like I literally, I got a, po I got, a, got, a got a pocket full of Xanax, and oh I'm just like God. living large, right? Probably got like 50 bucks cash. I'm like, this is great. Holy I'm set fuck. for the at least two weeks. Wait, so you took? Hang on, can we rewind real quick? Yeah. You know where you're at with the story. Can we yes, rewind on a little way bit? To grandma's house. I'm yeah. sorry to interrupt you. No, you're good. But you. Stole the stuff from the Walmart. Yeah, you got away. Technically, you ran away. Technically, we stole it. Yeah. Yeah. So you, 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 and then you also tried to commit check fraud. We did. Commit. <laughs> okay. So we you, did. We did. So we you did committed try. check fraud. You stole and credit card a thousand dollars worth of shit or whatever, and then you decided at some point it was okay to just pull over, take a nap. Uh, yeah. So on a dirt I, road, I thought I thought the whole time you were telling the nap and the hay bale story, I thought that that was a totally different day. It was weeks later, yeah. Oh, it was weeks yeah, later. Was weeks I thought later. this was on the way home with your Xbox and your shit. No, I. So the reason I had just got the Xbox is we thought we had to hide our stuff that we stole. Oh, we were like, okay. we got to let the heat cool off. Okay, you know? I'm glad you filled you that blanket. You can't right. like you can't uh, just start you like good fellas. You can't just go spending the money. Right, you know, you gotta right. you, you gotta, gotta stash it. Lay low. Yeah. So we had it all stashed at my. Okay. Friend. House. So you're on your way to grandma's. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I had needed good. that clarification. Yeah, I just yeah, was I making sure. I forgot. I, I was making sure that you didn't just like commit a heist and then you're like, man, I could use I a need a nap. Of, <laughs> I need a quick cat nap in the car. No. <laughs> that was weeks later. Right. But I, I had picked up the the uh what would you call what's it called? The like, loot. The loot. Yeah, yeah. The 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 bag. The, yeah, I had, to, the I had to get the, the contraband. Yeah. The contraband. And so uh I'm on, I'm on my way to grandma's house, bloody nose, Taco Bell, all the cool stuff. <laughs> Xanax, and, pocket full oh, of pocket Xanax. full of Xanax, like 50 bucks cash, living large. Oh, and I get pulled over, and immediately the cop goes, uh, you wouldn't have, you have like a tissue or something? Uh, yeah, he'll grab you one. Um, Thanks, Tony. So the, the cops pull up, and uh, I'm in this like apartment complex parking lot is where I pulled over. And all of a sudden, I, so I'm sitting there, and I'm like, why is he not getting out of the car? This is weird. All of a sudden, eight or nine cop cars pull up on me. Oh, shit. Just whoop, whoop, whoop. From, for, I mean, <laughs> they get out, guns drawn. Jesus Christ. Put your hands outside of the vehicle. Roll the window down. Literally, I'm doing the... I got to be honest. With your this degenerate type stuff, I'm if I'm a cop in Arkansas with you and I've heard about this, I'm pulling a gun on you too. Because I probably know that well, you and your friends are fucking hooligans and I don't know if you got a weapon. So I didn't know this. Come to find out, there was an APB out for that truck 
because I had forgotten in the midst of all the Pepsi challenge, I forgot that my friend pulled a knife on the Burger King lady. <laughs> thought she had his phone. <laughs> this is the guy on the rascal scooter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he pulled a knife on the Burger King lady. Yeah. <laughs> and I forgot about that. I completely forgot that we did that. No. And, and, and then, best part, <laughs> best part is, his phone was in, in my truck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> So crazy. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. And so uh so the so I I have a I've had back surgery uh-huh. when I was 19 and uh I get out of the truck and I go I go I go before I get out I got a fucked up back. Just know I'm not going to fight, I'm not going to run. Please don't beat me up. And they go, "Just get out of the truck." <laughs> They wouldn't say. So, They're like, we can't promise yeah. we're not gonna kick you a few times, motherfucker. For real. For real. So I get out. I'm literally like, you got me. Yeah. Yep. Infamous me. You know, yeah. whatever. And they literally, they just go stand here at the front of your truck, sweet. Thank, Thank you, Tony. I, just, I feel my nose. Just Took you so long, Tony. You were taking a shit in there too. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Did you grab a piss while you were in there. But I'm just kidding. So uh, <laughs> I'm trying to give you more shit, Tony. What uh I can't just be nice to you all the time oh. on the podcast. I'm nice to you in real life. Thank you, Tony. I appreciate the tissue. No, you just could say something like could have been a little quicker. Could have been a could could have been a couple really more. It could have been that. quicker because it, it was about to dribble down. Could have been a couple more fucking sheets, Tony. Yeah. I'll, t- I'll take the thank you. That yeah, was, yeah. That was nice. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's like I'm a kidding. change of pace. I'm kidding. Yeah, <laughs> he's abused here. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but so Dude, anyways, so it. I'm standing. Oh, you want, did you want to? F- well, he. Pu- I don't know if he heard. He probably heard from in there he, that his friend also pulled the knife on the Burger King lady. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> cool. So, so the cops, the cops have declined your request to not get your ass beat yeah. by the cops, and they just said, "Just get out of the yeah, car." Yeah, get out of the truck. So I get out of the truck, and you know they didn't. They were very nice. I was like, guys, hey, I knew this was good because, dude, this is. I had been expecting this moment. For literally, oh, yeah. for months. You were letting the heat die down, like I, you said. I, I was expecting, I knew this was coming. Right. And this is, so now we're in January of 2012. This is a few weeks after the Walmart heist. <laughs> and <laughs> Dude, you're wild. <laughs> so, yeah. Perfect. So, um, so I get out of the truck, though, and uh, nothing happened. They were very nice. And uh, I remember, I'll never forget, I was barefoot. Because I had stepped in mud earlier in the night in my new shoes that I bought from that credit card. <laughs> and uh, Dude. these badass dunks. And uh, I was barefoot. Uh, and so I'm just standing there barefoot, side of the road, cops everywhere. You know, they're You're fu- just a they're- literal tweaker at this oh, point. Yeah. You're, oh, just yeah, just a You're just a six street tweaker, dude. At this With a point, truck. At this point in the story, you are an Arkansas six street tweaker. Just causing trouble all over town. <laughs> <laughs> Smashing windows, fucking pulling knives on the breaking Burger into King houses. Lady, yeah, dude. not you know stealing air conditioners. Holy Just, fucking <laughs> shit, dude! So and so, I'm standing there, and I remember I'll never forget. One of the cops pulls up as an old. It must have been like a a sergeant or something, and he goes, "Somebody put him in handcuffs," <laughs> and I was just like. Like, like, cause they were just letting me chill. I was, cause I was so fucked. I was just like, well, and you're not like, it's this whole thing is funny because I'm trying to picture you and you're like a sweet, like pretty mellow kind of <laughs> yeah. guy, but you're just running rampant, committing all these crimes and all you can't it. stop. You're just doing drugs and committing crimes and getting drunk <laughs> yeah. on Kentucky well, Deluxe. So I couldn't really get drunk at the time cause I had the blow and go. So, right. that, so that's why it was Dang like it. it was like we're doing Xanax, which is alcohol and a pill. Right. You probably would have been a lot more confrontational had you been on the Kentucky Deluxe. I bet. Yeah, they would have beat me up for sure. <laughs> yeah, that. for sure. Yeah. You just and got out. Your eyes are like pin little pinholes. You're just like, yeah, dude. And so they take me to jail. Can I finish my Taco Bell? Dude, I w- I think I might have asked, <laughs> and they were like, no. Yeah. Uh, but I'm in. So I'm in the. Uh, they take me to jail. I'm in the interrogation room. I'm a, and I'm alone, and. Uh, the guy goes, can I get you anything? And I'll never, I remember I had already realized they didn't search me. Oh. So I had a pocket full of Xanax bars. Oh no. And I'm already in the facility. 
So I know you got to get rid of those. That's a big deal. Felony. That's a that's, big that's deal. That's dealing drugs. So and... I go, can I get a glass of water? And he was like, yeah, no problem. Brings in the glass of water, and I looked down. I had nine Xanax bars left. The full white two milligram Xanax bars. Bottoms up. Took them all, and uh, I basically woke up like three days later and found out that I told on myself and both my friends. <laughs> You were high as fuck yeah. on Xanax, blacked out. Yeah, just overdosing. E easiest overdosing. Easiest on Xanax. interrogation they probably ever had. You basically. I went, told them stuff you that went, they didn't even know about. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was like, "Yeah, that house, we robbed that." <laughs> yeah. Like, also, 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 <laughs> I was like, "Also, here's my friend's address. You can go get him." Like. <laughs> Like if you if you look in the basement, there will be a PS4. <laughs> like you drew a diagram of the then, fucking yeah. house, and then and then they had me on camera while I was fucked up, calling my friend from their phone, going, "Hey, they don't know about the house we robbed, and also you might want to hide that Xbox." And he goes, "Mason, hang up the fucking phone, dude. Stop talking to me." And I, and I hang up, and then when I came later, when I went back in. After I had, like, sort of sobered up a little bit, they were like, see that camera? See that right there? That's a camera. We caught your whole conversation on videotape. You talking about all about that stuff. Like, and I'm just like, oh, fuck. Oh, dang it. Yeah. <laughs> but it didn't matter. I had already told on, had said everything out loud. Like, it was just Dude. so fucked up. I just... God. I don't even remember being in the room. I don't even remember Have you those. ever told that story before? That is yeah, so yeah. funny, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's fucked up, but it's really... Yeah, because it's so stupid. It's so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> like, and then point being, though, this all started because you were like, you seem pretty put together. Yeah. So that was the last time I did stuff like that. Nice. And I've been... So I did this thing. I got sentenced to a year in drug court, uh -huh. which is where you just get like drug tested all the time. You have to go to AA and all this bullshit yeah. and take these counseling classes. And you're like... Like, hey, I'm Mason, and I'm a fucking badass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you pussies in for, dude? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How much time you got? Yeah, I'm like, yeah exactly. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, I did 80 days and, uh, in jail. Damn. That's not out. even bad for all the shit yeah. that you did, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not a felon because I completed that drug court thing. Wow. Yeah, I, I have a gun. Like, it's, we're good. So, I mean, I don't know if I like that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm excited about that, dude. <laughs> Like one bad thing happens to you, you're just right back on the Kentucky Deluxe. Just no, fucking... no. <laughs> no, we're no, drinking. I'm a, I'm Miller, a Jameson man now. Ma Miller Light, dude. Miller Light and Jameson. But yeah, that was well, I mean, that was I'm what changed my life. I'm, and... I'm I'm proud of you, dude. And then, I mean, I'm proud of you for staying off of that because a lot of people, like, they get in that system and it seems like like a kind of a rigmarole like like it seems like a a cycle where like they get out of jail and then they you know their homies are out and they're fucking they're gonna Boy, go get I, fucked up again yeah. right and so it's kind of like it's really seems like it's like a hard like thing to break like a hard pattern for people to break and and i think part of that has to do with like the court system and like the, oh 100 and the way that you're like that that they're focused on arresting people and not like rehabilitating people especially or whatever. in small towns too right. because a lot of their income is from those fines and if you don't pay those fines, then you get a warrant and you go back to jail and then you're not and then you lose your job. And it's just, <clears throat> just a big snowball yeah. of just you're ruining your life. <clears throat> and then a lot of people go, well, fuck it then. I'm already this is what it is, I guess. Like yeah. I, so I'm all, just a piece of shit. Those I'm members in, in my of band, one of them died. Oh. Uh, two of, one of them's a Nazi now. <laughs> what? And, and the other one just, I think, lives at his mom's house and smokes meth. And then... <laughs> And then, like, my buddy that I got in those arrests with, the one that was on The Rascal, he's normal now. He's got, like, a wife and kids. Dude, get he, that guy on the pod. Yeah, Where he, is like, he, he worked. I think he worked it out. But then the other one, he's got two kids that his mom's raising, and he's just a piece of shit. Yeah. He's got, like, face tattoos and shit now. And so just, is like, this just the product of these small towns? 100%. Like, and that's not geographical. Like, that's everywhere. But what about it? And, and you're going to have to educate me, I guess. Do you think it's literally just boredom? I think Because that so. makes a lot of sense And curiosity. That boredom, makes a lot of boredom sense Boredom and curiosity. Me. That's like, but how, do, how do you thwart that? Because kids you leave. Are, yeah. But I mean, how would you, how do you, how do you repair something like that? Because like, I didn't grow, I grew up dicking around doing some drugs, but like, dude, nothing. Like, my mom would have never let me hang out with you. Yeah. You know what I mean, dude? A lot of moms didn't. <laughs> my mom would. You don't hang out with Mason. Yeah, never. You don't hang out with him. He's a bad influence. Even if his mother's around, you don't hang out with yeah, him. Yeah, right. Yeah. Dude. Well, and dude, I got lucky though. I, when I graduated drug court, it was June of 2013. 
and I went to this music festival called Wakarusa that I used to always go to. It was like 40 minutes from my hometown in Arkansas. It was a big, big music, big time music festival. And I met uh, my friend, uh, you know, Nat Rogachevsky? He's a comic here in town. I know the name from, uh, and I would probably recognize the face. I know the name from like being on deck and stuff, you yeah, know, yeah, whatever. But right, like, right. I don't know. So he, he's uh, a know comic personally. here in town. Okay. And, uh, but I met him at Wakarusa, <coughs> and we hit it off. <coughs> and then like he asked me if I wanted to. He knew I wanted to move. I wanted to move. I needed to leave my hometown. <gasps> Because you were just going to keep getting in trouble. 100%. And fucking I needed to get around. the fuck out of there. I didn't know where I was going or what I was going to do, but I <clears> needed <throat> to leave. And he asked me if I wanted to move. He had a room in his apartment, mm-hmm. and I moved to uh, Waltham, Massachusetts, which is which is right outside Boston. Okay. And it changed my life forever, and then... You've never been a piece of shit like that no. since in Boston or anything? No. Nope. Okay. Yeah, nope. <laughs> they haven't. Ra- You've been I've, on the straight and narrow. I probably stole from like a gas station here and there, maybe. Sure. But <laughs> just a little, just a little hit. A little just Danish, a little dope. Just, you know? li- just keep it dangerous a little yeah. bit. Just well, kind of mess things up. If I'm, you know, a little hungry and don't feel like stopping. That's you know? kind of like you pouring one out for your homie, right? You know what I mean? Still, like, yeah. Yeah. You just, yeah, just you just grab a little Swiss Swiss <laughs> Swiss roll and yeah. just you know. this one's for you, Matt. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> grab a little a little bear claw. Yeah. What do they call on the East Coast? The tasty cakes? You just grab a little tasty cake? No, Bear Claw. No, they have the like the little Debbie on the East Coast is a tasty cake. Oh, it's like yeah. It's a company no, yeah. called Tasty Cakes. Yeah, we don't have, yeah, okay. didn't have that. If you tighten this one, it won't fucking squirrel. It's already squirly. tight, dude. Oh, well, then it just fucking yeah. sucks. I'm yeah. Gonna to... <laughs> I mean, Tony? No, I'm just kidding. This fucking shitty. <laughs> Not Tony's cheap, responsibility. Cheap I have to buy this. You got going? Tony, pull up Amazon. You know, but yeah. send me the bill. Yeah, and I miss Boston every day. I love Boston. That's where I started comedy. Okay. Love cool. Boston. I've only been there once. It's I went to Cambridge, and I played at a venue called the Middle East. Middle East, yeah. I've yeah. done comedy there. And really? I've, I've done, I've, dude. So there's <clears throat> dude. three levels to Middle East. And I'm sure you guys played in the basement part, right? Did you play downstairs in the big venue? No. So you might have played on the played middle floor. Ups- it was called Middle East Upstairs, I think. Yeah, okay. And it was the one with the really high stage. Yeah, really that high was stage. the smaller room. Yeah. So downstairs, there's a big, big room downstairs. It was on the same level as the restaurant. So that's the, oh, that's the, <clears throat> that's the middle one. The you middle like floor. walk through the restaurant to get to it. Right, okay. that's right. Yeah, that's the smaller one. Cool venue. Everyone Still there a cool was venue, a big yeah. pussy. It was like during COVID, right out of COVID. Ah. It was like right out of COVID and they were like, yeah. where's your mouth? Dude, card. don't get like, me fucking. Nobody st- fucking went there, you know. I, I got, uh, I got away. I did nine illegal bar shows. I was the, fir- I was the first yes. person in Boston to do to figure out you how to get comedy, dude. I mean, dude, because I was like, and isn't Boston supposed to be known for like Boston hardcore? Like we don't fuck around, fuck around and find out Boston that's, hardcore. That's the blue collar people that work there or that live there, but then there's no all those fucking hardcore kids are pussies now. Yeah. All I, those I, hardcore I kids are pussies now. I tried to write now. a bit about this. I've been trying to write. The new, yeah. the new punk rock. Yes. So I'm gonna go. I'll say I've already put this on blast on my podcast. Do it. Do you know about this bar we talk- here in the East Side <clears throat> called King B? Yeah, yeah, I like King B. I did like it. Why? Till I realized that fucking assholes and pussies work there. Oh no! I went in there one night. I'm playing pool, and I, I'll tell the full story again. Fuck you. I'm I'm in there. And I'm playing pool, and I go to the bartender, and I go, hey, uh, do you guys do industry discount? And they said, yeah, absolutely. So I'm buying. Because you're a bartender. You are uh, you work I at work, venues. Yeah. You and uh, I'm good. Okay. Um, I'll chill then. So I, uh, you know, I'm getting shots of Jameson all night. Mm-hmm. And then I, uh, the bartender changed. And I go, hey, still good for, like, industry? And he just sort of nodded. And I was like, okay, I hope that that's hope that's a yes right and i my tab ended i get my tab at the end it ends up being like 80 dollars and i was like oh uh i'm sorry i i thought you guys were doing industry he goes we don't do that here and i was like and then i look over and the original guy that told me yes went and ran into the office and shut the door and i'm like (laughs) no yeah I'm i'm like well that guy said it was fine yeah and he's like no we don't do that and so i just was like well, you also nodded, and he's like, "No, nah, I didn't hear you." <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, "Well, dude, I would have been drinking well whiskey this whole time." Right. It's I'm not tied to Jameson. Right. Like if I knew that it was gonna be ten and eleven dollars, you guys show, are dicking me around. You could have just told me that, yeah. and I would have bought whatever your well is. Yeah. And he's like, "Sorry," and I just go, "All right," and I just marked out. I just did no tip and mm-hmm. just paid the tab. 
and was just like, Jesus. fuck this place. But point being, though, punk rockers <clears throat> now, because I call them fake, fake punk rockers. When I was younger, punk rockers didn't wear deodorant. They hated the government, mm -hmm. and they were like cool fucking alcoholics and like <laughs> yeah, fun exactly. to party with. Unless they were straight edge, even then, those guys were usually pretty cool. They would still like beat somebody up. And for, now it's for like, something. and now punk rockers now, especially over in that area, they they like ride e bikes and just dress like that and like wear deodorant and fucking vote and think that COVID was real. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, it's like it's not the same as what it was. No. Yeah, the the whole in the whole industry, I mean, all the way up. It's not like, the same. It's not the same. And to be honest, dude, that's why and I've talked to it's it's funny you bring this up on this podcast because <clears throat> I talk a lot about that shit. That's what I was making fun of Randy Blythe for. Yeah, exactly. You know what same, I mean? That's exactly, the same shit. Exactly. And so <clears throat> what I think is that's why I'm gravitated towards you guys now. Towards like that's why hanging out with comics has been I mean, I know you're a metal guy too. Yeah. But it's like like I don't like me being in a metal band and, and us both liking metal, if you're just a regular guy on that's a metal kid, right? That is not a common denominator for us to hang out and be friends. Yeah. And I probably don't like everything you stand for. Probably. Right, right. Like I'd say 60 40, maybe. Right. 70 30. I like maybe 30%. And you wouldn't like me. Yeah. If you really fucking talk to me for a minute. You know what I mean? C right. Because apparently I'm a piece of shit because I just, you know, fucking think what normal people think. I yeah. Don't know. You know what I mean? Right. And so it's like, <clears throat> that's why I like comics too because they'll say what they fucking mean and... Yeah, and, and, there's just, and it's just like there's no fucking filter in this game in the in the comedy game. Yeah. There's no filter, and you're better if you just let it go and just say what you want to say. A hundred percent, like honest with yourself. Absolutely, you know what I mean. And so that's why, like, dude, I watched that. I just released that um, podcast today <clears throat> where I was talking some shit, and it was with uh, Andrew Tar. Oh, I love Andrew. Yeah, he's yeah, awesome. yeah. And uh, funny guy. He's the best. And so I was talking shit, and like. I after the podcast, I was like, "Ooh, like the Randy Bly stuff." Yeah, I was like, "I don't know how that's gonna think, how that's gonna f feel." And then I listened to it, and I was like, "No, I was fucking speaking from my heart." Yeah, and I'm I'm gonna fucking put it out there, and you can suck my dick if you don't like it. Yeah, I mean, what are suck they gonna? My what's, cock. He, what's he gonna come find suck you? My beat cock. you up? No, no, and he's like, probably you know what? In the best case scenario, is somebody makes a clip of it because they get mad. And then he retweets it and goes, "You're a fucking idiot." And, I'm and like, then you get more, you clout, get more things press, to the fucking go. door cast. right? Exactly. And then the half, and then th what he's, it'll be a fuck up because you know. But it's delusional to think he'll ever see it. He's not going to see it. Yeah, he, but, dude, he's probably so out of touch. <clears throat> but that's why other, he says stuff like that. But the other thing too that's funny is metal kids are so metal people in metal bands are so scared because it's like it's such a gate kept industry. How do people make it now? They don't. No, I'm just yeah, kidding. I don't know. Well, for real though, because you've been your band's been going on for ten years. You said right, right, and we just got our first like big break. So it's much year. like comedy it takes ten years at least. Exactly, and, and so that's what's been cool about starting comedy now as like a my is my for my next trick. You know, like yeah. is like I know that this is gonna take a long time. So Forever. I feel like I'm chilling in a in a hammock. I'm just like having fun. I'm going to mics. I'm not, you know, <clears throat> but I understand that there's these people that are so devoted to it and it's their only thing and they fucking live in their car just to live here to have mm -hmm. an opportunity to get on stage and so i respect that a lot you yeah. know what i mean and so i don't try to like you know i don't know bump anybody like i, right. I go and i wait till 1 a.m and i go up in front of nobody because that's what i'm a first year comic you know what right. i mean i just passed right. a year you know yeah, what i mean, I mean and so and it's like it's gonna it. take time and you see like the the guys that annoy the big dudes are the ones who like think that this is a quick fucking road mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yep. It's like I've already you, built you have some, to be so I've patient. already built something up and had a huge opportunity and played in front of a thousand eight hundred people every night, sold out shows and shit. And so I've already had that experience and I know what it took to get there and it was a lot and a lot and of waiting and a lot of time so and I appreciate too. it. Yeah. And so like when I come into this thing, when I was coming into this thing and I was Yonder was the one that told me to do comedy. Love Yonder. Because he's from music too. Mm -hmm. Much like you are, you know, so it's like I was like, I don't know if it's kind of weird. Like, if I already have this music thing, he's like, no, fuck that, man. You you want to do it, and it's in your heart. You need to go do it. You know, yeah. said something oh, yeah. real yondery to me. Oh yeah, it was just like amazing. I was like, all right, um, and so I started going to the Lucky Duck and started doing, you know, open mics and waiting my turn and paying my dues. You know, yeah. and <clears throat> we're still, you know. I'm excited for year two. I'm going to try to get, uh, like, a solid 10 minutes. The first year for me was, like, can we even do this? Right. 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 Can you get laughs? And now it's like, oh, yeah, we're right. doing it. 
We just need to be better at it. Right. Now. We need to like really get it down and get rid of the old stuff and do all the new, all new stuff and work on that. And so it's fun. And it gives me an opportunity to go on stage when mm-hmm. my band's not here. Yeah. And, yeah. You know? And that's the thing too. Like, you know, I've been on stage since I was four. Uh, like I used to be in plays and shit when mm. I was young. Like I've always I played just, Froggy in the Little Rascals when I was seven. Yeah, dude, exactly. Like I've literally just been obsessed with being on stage. Yeah, my whole life. I've always gotten attention when I was a kid that I didn't want, like because I was like I don't know talkative. Yeah, I was a talkative child. Same. I was the only child, so I hung out with same my, dude. Really? Yeah, yeah. interesting. Well, yeah, until I was when I was fifteen, my dad. Uh, had a, a daughter, had his first daughter, mm-hmm. and then when I was twenty, he had my other sister. But I wasn't really like, I was still essentially an only child because I didn't live there. Right. So like I was at my mom's, and yeah. I'm her only son. It was a step, step. Well, they're halves, oh, but I, I have still, I can, I still just say they're my sisters. Right. And I, and I love them very much, and it's great. I have people like that in my life that are like brothers and sisters to me. Well, see, but that's not, why not really. Me, the, I, they weren't. They didn't live in my house and grow up with me. Like I bet you that uh, friendship always meant a lot to you. Yes, and so my house was always full of Same. of friends, and my parents were cooking and buying food for everybody. Yeah. They would. They bought Costco runs like. Like they had seven kids because right. they there was always seven people at the yep. house. And I, then when I was friendship is always something. When I was eighteen, like my parents basically built this. Not when I was eighteen, but when I was growing up, my parents built this like basically a three bedroom house onto our two. They did a big addition to the house so that my great grandma could live there and like oh, die gotcha. in the house. Okay, and so. <clears throat> After my grandma died, they moved into, like, that nice side of the house. That was, like, the nice new side. And then, like, the old shitty side. That they be- were like, you can have they- it. I think we used to call it, like, the trap house or something like that. Like, like we, like we it was our, it was me and the dudes, and we paid, like, menial rent. Like, like a hundred some bucks a month. It was, like, my right, first right. time paying rent. Like, my parents were like, all right, you're 18, you're going to pay rent, and you get your own half of the house. Oh, yeah. Which was cool. It's perfect. And we were just partying. <clears throat> I had my frat years there, like without the tuition. You know oh, what I mean? Dude, like, I, 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 didn't, I, I didn't have to. Like we had all the kinds of national lampoon style parties. Yeah, that was 100%, fucking awesome. Yeah, without but, ever even being in college. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to community college for like a semester, and I was like, <laughs> I did the same. Thing. I got weed to sell. I, did I can't the exact fucking hang same. out. I literally here. did a semester, and I was like, fuck this. I had people hitting up my phone like, Yo, I need an ounce. Where are you? Why are yeah, you not in the like, woods? I'm in class. Because we'd always go in the woods and smoke yeah. weed, and that's where you like network, and you're yeah. like, Oh, for sure. Oh, I got weed. I got weed right now. You know what right. I mean? And they're like, they're like, where are you? You know what I mean? Like, why are you in social studies? I need to buy an ounce. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm like, like, I'm in my remedial I'm like, algebra class. Yeah, right she's now, trying. Dude. She's like, where is your homework? And I'm like, I'm losing money right yeah, now. Yeah, I gotta go. Candace, you yeah. know, or whatever. I'm losing money. Like, right we're the now. same age. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, why are go. you? How old are you? I, I'm 32. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm 32. As and well. so I was just like, dude, when I had to go to community college after high school I, th- I was like wait a minute we just i thought we were done with this yeah <laughs> you know did I mean? you that have was... to take uh did you have to redo math or anything so i i went yeah, to summer school so every year they wanted me to redo like they wanted me to take a shittier math because i didn't place into the I had whatever to take math algebra yeah i, I was just... like dude i haven't done this since eighth grade i failed it then and i'm gonna fail it now honestly dude math is retarded i do we have calculators in our pockets my uncle they said we wouldn't Dude. They said we wouldn't. They said, "Boy, were they wrong!" You'll never have a calculator in your pocket, but Mason, you better learn this stuff and learn like, it good, Mason. Doesn't matter if you ever want to make it in Little Rock. You better learn this good because you're never gonna have a calculator in your pocket. And then fucking, dude. When I now was, I can ask Siri, what's the yeah. square root of forty five? I don't even. Are kids retarded now? <laughs> like know. how? Like I there's don't know. no way. I bet they do. Uh, someone told me this the other day. I think schools now do yonder bags. Do like, they? I, that's what I heard. I, Whoa, someone said that the other day. They lock your phone up for school. I think so. Tony, Tony yeah. you got to look Dude, that up. My first phone. I bet. Like, well, do I got kids? My first phone, do kids get their phones locked up in bags? I got my first phone in the eighth grade. It was a flip phone. I had same. And, and I had to keep it turned off and in my backpack. Yeah, same. You weren't allowed to like. You were not a, if someone because. Dude. My mom gave me one of her old Palm Pilots when I was in like the sixth grade. Is that the one grade. with the ball? No, not it the was Blackberry. Like, no, no, it was like a, not a cell phone. It was like before smartphones, but it was like this little device that had a touchscreen and like a stylus. And you can maybe you could pull up a picture of a Palm Pilot P 
P-A-L-M, Palm Pilot. You would remember if you saw it. It was like a, something that like rich fucking business people had or something. Oh, yeah. yeah it was it like this really little iPad. Screen, like a calculator. It was like a Kindle, but you could put like a, your phone numbers and your contacts. It was like a weird period between pagers and smartphones, right? <laughs> this weird. And I don't even know. Okay, maybe some of them you could make calls Look on. Look at those right there, that one. Look at with that the, With shit. all of them? To yeah. The, uh, yeah. Yeah, so I had one of these, right? Jesus and I would tell Christ. my teacher would be like, put that away. And I'd be like, I'm taking notes. Taking notes, and yeah. she hated, they like, hated no. it. Yeah. They Co hated uh, it. When you would, uh, you were clicking letters with the pen. You weren't yeah. writing on yeah. it, right? Yeah, you were. Well, you could, I think, write a little and, bit. But it wouldn't switch your handwriting to no. No, yeah. no, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Dude. Wait, what was that? Schools in 41 states have what? See, have yonder bag. Yonder bag. Have spent 41, oh wait, stu, schools in 41 states have spent millions on, I think I'm getting dumber hanging out with you. Schools I can't read anything. Schools in 41 states <laughs> I can't have spent spell, millions I can't on read. pouches to lock up kids' phones. Okay, you can read Yonder good. bag. That is a literal yonder bag. Look at Sick. that. Sick. Holy shit. So that is true. They're on the come up. They got a government contract. Dude, they're killing it. That's amazing. So that is true. That's Which, good. That's good. Fuck them good, kids. Though. They don't need to be on a smartphone yeah, looking hey, everything up. Teach them real. some shit. Seriously. Teach them some shit. I wonder if they do, I wonder if they do that in colleges too. Cuz you know, I bet I bet it's easier what now states? To, to plagiarize or uh Oh, dude, with ChatGPT, yeah. they like have to do some dude, shit. Dude, like do you think that AI is writing people's uh papers yes! now? So that That's means That's a dude, huge problem. Let me, let me pitch this to you. 10 years from now, let's say you're a young kid just got to college but you're very smart. But you, but you start smoking weed, you start fucking off, start getting into uh, tech stuff, and you know how to do things with AI to write your papers. But your end goal is you want to be a doctor. In 10 years when that kid graduates, we might have dumb doctors. That don't know shit. That, like, kill people. But here's like, the thing, though. I'm going to be honest. How do you make doctors still I'm gonna smart? Honest. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say some shit. I think that there's a lot of dumbass doctors out there right now, and there always has been dumb doctors. That's what I think. True. I think one in ten doctors are actually smart. But you're because there's be some dumbass doc dude, doctors, you're just a pharmaceutical pill salesman. You're you, th that went to a lot of school and what is about in an a lot of debt. Room if you got shot. Okay, that is different. Because yeah. that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So that's like a that's like a fucking surgeon or something. I need shit. a I need my yeah. Okay, let me rephrase it. Whoever's doing operating. Yeah. And like saving people <laughs> in the moment, like yeah. from a car crash that went was real bad. Don't you have to? I want that guy to be smart. Yeah, I need him smart. Can yeah. Just, <laughs> could you imagine? I want you to let's do the scenario. You as you right now, you got through college and med school with AI in the year twenty twenty whatever. Yeah. Twenty thirty. Yeah. And. And I'm in, on the operating table, and you're like, this is it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, dude, imagine. Uh, the first imagine. thing you're going to say, scalpel. Just, yeah, yeah, just yeah. yeah, scalpel. <laughs> uh, nurse. <laughs> yeah. Nurse. What, what's going on here? Just. <laughs> <You're just> like, <laughs> and then it starts spraying blood. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I, uh. Hey, uh, pinch that off. I don't know. <laughs> You're just like, I'm tired. Clamp, clamp. <laughs> yeah, 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 you go home. <laughs> like, I'm tired. Like, nurse. I think I would just go nurse because the nurses are the ones that do a lot of. Dude, there's a lot guys. Of the I wish I remembered some of these guys' names. So my girlfriend's like obsessed with like the murder crime. It's just murder and rape in my uh, house. Yeah, yeah. You the know documentaries what I mean? And, just and then you wonder, constant. and then they're like, I don't know why I'm, I'm trying to write a bit about it. I know people street. have talked about it before, but I don't think it's at the level that it's really just murder and rape in my home. Yeah. I'll constantly. It's just from breakfast to dinner. It is just, and he raped her corpse 14 times mm -hmm. in the woods yeah. and then chopped her body up and ate it. And, and then you're threw just it like, in the river. And she's like, I'm just, it's fine. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, I, I'm sick of this, but. There's a couple of those, like, 2020s of, like, this dude that, like, there was this one guy. I don't know if you can find anything about this guy just based off of my, like, explanation of it because I don't remember his name. But his wife mysteriously drowned in, like, a bathtub with, like, very little water in it, right? And then immediately, like, marries the maid that was cleaning the fucking house. Was this all and this is like a decorated decorated doctor guy, like a decorated doctor guy. The, so the police start digging into this guy. He runs away or does who knows, does goes off. He ran he, away or, I, well, or I think he got I, away. He it. got away. He got away with it and like moved, right? Okay. Or something or just So the police start looking Yeah, exactly. The police start looking into it and like his 
application to his school was like falsified and like all of the letters from his professors were fake. And so this was like Catch the old school. Can. Well, no, it was like the old school version of what we're talking about of like a guy like pretend like getting through his school with AI. Yeah. Th this is like a, an old school version of that where he like fault. He like plagiarized. It right. Out, right. So so it's like he was doing what AI is going to do for people. Right. In the future, which is kind of wild because the cr those kind of criminal fucking narcissist sociopath dudes like they're going to use AI to to get through med to get through med school yeah, and, and it, but how do they stop that i don't know e scott illis was guilty found his wife susan was guilty of killing his wife susan Sill sills in 2016 faces sentence of up to 15 years to life in prison california doctor found guilty but was that the guy that wasn't a doctor actually that so might have been him that might have been him for that, that could have been him look up like drowning not runs away but like this isn't... Um, Look up 2020. I think it's 2020, but we can't show the 2020 on here, but... This isn't what, like... Dr. Uh, Drown's wife and runs away. What That's Catch Me If You Can was based off no, of. No, Catch Me If You Can was a guy committing check fraud. Okay. But he was really good at it. And yeah, then they, I, wasn't, like, I was not good at it. Utah doctor's lies revealed after... Uh, Didn't Epstein fake a lot of uh, documents to get involved with that rich guy that oh, he handled his money? I don't know, but I want to talk about Epstein real quick. Where are we at on time, Tony? Nice. Nice. Uh, we'll finish this did, one. Did you watch the Epstein documentary, though? I have seen a bunch of them. I don't Because he was like, he was like, he like fake, like, I think he actually went to like a good school, but then somehow like forged some documents and to get in with that guy that he ran his money, right? I don't know. Can we look that up, I guess? We, we, you guys, somebody else can look the, uh, oh, that was it, though. Hang on, go back to that guy. Dr. Martin McNeil. I think that's what it was. Ground wife staged it. Don't let this video play because there's going to be an ad. Um, I feel like this is the guy. Six-year-old makes it. Tragic discovery. Yeah. Upstairs bathroom. Yep, that's her. So go down. <clears throat> he, this shit is fucking wild. He was a legend. He was a well-respected member of the community. Uh, Michelle was known as a devoted and loving mother. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, does it go down? At, does it talk about his like falsified, like his fake life? He wasn't like an actual doctor. Did he even go to school? I don't. Or was think, that fake too? I don't think he did. I don't. I think it was all fucking com com a shocking twist. Yeah, Giselle or no? Okay, Giselle. Wanted, so. Did he marry the? Did he marry the maid? Wait, the, the yeah. maid's name was Gypsy. Hang on, Martin McNeil essentially sent his adopted Ukrainian daughter back to Ukraine. Yep, so he could pass along this identity to his mistress, Gypsy Willis. Wow, damn! So he gave his new bitch his, his Ukrainian daughter? daughter's name after he sent her back so to he's Ukraine. Like, you can have this one back. Yeah, I'm gonna just use her name and her social security card. Shipped his daughter card. off and used. Damn. Now he got caught, so he yeah he did go right. Is he in yeah. prison? Yeah. Yeah. Sentenced to four, only four years. <laughs> Thought he killed his wife. I don't think they got him for it. I think it was like a perfect drowning. So it's like you perfect drowning. <laughs> I think it was like a. It perfect was the perfect stick. drowning. It was the perfect drowning. Uh, that's like you know the whole obviously. Willis uh, couldn't be tied to. Oh, that's the woman, right? Yeah, we're confusing people about this because I can't. Oh wait, read. there it says to a uh, guilty of serving. He was sentenced to thirty-five years in prison. Oh, okay. After losing the appeal, he died by suicide in prison. <sighs> Maybe there was more secrets. I wonder now. Secrets. He probably actually killed himself, unlike Epstein. Right. You know what were you saying about Epstein? Look that up. Did Epstein so lie about his education? Look up that. Yeah, I, guess. I thought in the documentary. He lied about where he went to school so he could get the job running that dude's money. Like being in charge of that guy's money. The one that gave him that big apartment in New York that's like the most expensive apartment in town. I'm probably like, I probably sound so dumb. I only watched that documentary. I mean, you spelled all, all Annihilator with a GH. It's pretty <laughs> fucking dumb, dude. <laughs> I love you, dude. I fucking love hanging out with you. This is so Hell much yeah, fun, dude. dude. Thanks for having me. I'm fucking dumb too, so.
But we're smart in special ways. Yeah. You know, we're talented in other ways. Yeah. We're just not. We're t- we didn't we're waste all our brain. We didn't waste all, waste all of our brain space on being book smart. Yeah. Who needs that? Who needs that? I don't need that. I, who really needs to know how to spell annihilator? <laughs> Nobody. 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 Especially with phones now. Right. Also, sometimes I spell things so bad when I'm texting that my phone can't even figure out what I'm trying to spell. Same. You know what always gets me? And they need to fix this. Apple. They need to fix necessary. Oh. You ever try to spell? Let's do necessary. Oh, I can't even spell that one, I don't think. Here, let's both spell it. And Wait, do, do the do the, oh, do yeah. the spelling bee voice. The word is necessary. Why is he so good at that? I don't know. It's cool, though. All right. All right. I'm going to go first. I think it's N-E-C-E-S-S-A-R-Y. I think I might have finally got it down. That is correct. You spelled it right. Spelled Wait, it right. You spelled it necessary. Or no, is that an no, A I or an E? I just have shitty handwriting. Okay, so that is an That's A. That's an A. Wow, good job. We did yeah, that. hell yeah. Look at us, dude. <laughs> um, necessarily. I guess after you figure out the first part, you can get the rest of it. But I remember uh, when I was younger and I figured out that Wednesday had a D in it. <laughs> Now, 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 anytime, anytime I think of Wednesday, I go Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, same. I so do the I same sp- thing. So that I can spell it right. I do the same thing. I do the same thing. <laughs> oh, what's the other one? Uh, restaurant. Uh, R E S T A R A U N T. You might have beat me on. The- oh, hang on. I that's think incorrect. it's. That's I, incorrect? I'm, yeah. incorrect. I'm wrong. I was wrong. He's wrong. Yeah. So I think it's R E S T A U R A N T. That's right. Okay. <laughs> yes. But that was a lot. Took me years. Okay, you'll get there, yeah, son. Yeah. You'll get Just there, keep son. Keep trying, buddy. Just keep trying, buddy. <laughs> you'll get there, buddy. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Well, I had a fucking blast, dude. I told myself that this year the pods would be a little shorter sometimes. You're just gonna have to come back and get some one more dude, time, dude. I gotta dude. have you. You gotta come on high noon. We're I, gonna start recording again soon. You know what's funny? Nobody ever asked me to go on their podcast. Yeah. I ask everybody to come on mine. You and gotta so come I, on. I would fucking yeah, it'll love be fun. To. We'll do. Uh, we'll do. Uh, we'll I love. Ever, Ni- I love Nick arrested? Sapaglia. He's one of the coolest dudes. Always been so nice to me. Oh, he's shout the best. out, shout out, Nick. I love you, buddy. But uh, no, I haven't. Uh, I haven't ever been arrested. I don't think. Well, there goes that segment. I'm sorry. I've been. I've been trespassed. Almost right, arrested well, we'll a lot. That. I can talk about I can talk about all the times where I should have been arrested. Oh, that'll work because we do a yeah. segment called Jail Tales. Okay, so we'll, that'll work. That'll I could be tell good a good enough. story. I could tell a good story there. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's a great that's a great thing to end it on right there, dude. Here, let's see if I can get one real quick for you. <laughs> oh, wet! Oh. <laughs> you did it too quick. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> all right, buddy. I love oh, you, Mason yeah. Smith. Love Run that too, outro, man. Thanks Tony. Thanks for having me on. Thank you, Tony.